Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brigade LeMonet. So I will be starting this hairstyle on a very old twist out that's dry and dirty. So I'm gonna go off camera to wash it. So I am back with freshly washed hair and I have it drying in a t-shirt just because towels are kind of harsh on your hair. Ooh, a little blurry. Okay, so I'm gonna undo my plaits. I have my hair separated into halves with a part down the middle and then I'm going to moisturize my hair. So as a leave-in conditioner, I'll be using the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Cream and I'll leave the title of that in the description box. So I just rub that through all my hair and try to coat every piece of strand. And then to seal in the moisture, I use the Do Grow Anti-Itch Oil. I can really use any oil, but right now I'm using the Do Girl oil just because I like the way they smell. And I use that to seal in the moisture, and I also put it on my scalp to help nourish my scalp as well. So I twist that back up, and I do the exact same thing on the other side of my hair. So now that I have both sides moisturized, I'm going to take one side of my hair and split it in half again. And this is how I'll be putting in the perm rods just by quarter. Now that I have my first big section, I'll be taking the smaller piece of that section to use as to use to wrap around my perm rods. Now the section that I'm using is not super tiny, but it's also not super big either. And my hair around the back edge is not as thick as the rest of my hair. So that's the perfect size for me, a medium size. I'll be using the lot of body texturizing setting lotion or mousse or however you want to call it. However, it does not have the top that I need to make it foam up. So I'll be putting it into this bottle, which is some old mousse that I used to have, just so that I can use the top. So for each section, I will use two pumps of the mousse and then really work it through covering from root to end and kind of finger detangling as I go just to make sure I get the best curl possible. And here, I left this in here because I tried to start my perm rod from the top of my section closer to my root. However, I then switched to doing it from the bottom because when you start it from the top, when you start a perm rod from the top, the ends are kind of left loose and they don't really are not really secure, which so you won't have a very good curl. So I start my perm rods from the bottom of the section and then I roll it upward. So this is a little off camera right now, but what I'm doing is rolling my hair upwards from the bottom of bottom of my section and I'll show you that in closer detail when I get to the front of my hair. So now that I have done some in the back, I'm going to go off camera and come back when I'm ready to show you guys the front. And I also want to make sure that you guys remember to roll your perm rods as tight as possible so that you can get the tightest curl. So I am to the front now, so two pumps of mousse and just work that through the hair from ends to the roots or roots to the end, it doesn't really matter. And kind of finger detangle it as you work through, work out those kinks. And then you'll take your perm rod and push it down to the very end, wrap the ends around. And when you start rolling upwards, cover up those ends to ensure that they stay there. And then just roll upwards as tight as you can possibly get it and then lock it in place. So I'm gonna show you this two more times. 
so that you can get a good idea of what exactly I'm doing. Two pumps of mousse, work it through, finger detangle, and then roll it up. So now that all of my rollers are in, I have a few loose hair sticking out, but we just put those to the back. It's not going to mess up the hairstyle. So I'm going to sleep with this overnight and wait for it to dry. So now it is the next morning and I'm ready to take down my hair. So first I'm going to apply some oil to my hands just to make sure I don't mess up the curls. So when taking down your perm rods, don't just pull the roller out, kind of uncurl the roller the way that your curl is going so, so it kind of like keeps the curl in shape. And a few of the rollers were tangling up my hair so I do want to um, suggest buying high quality perm rods because if you don't, they will tangle up your hair and get your hair caught in the little fringes or whatever is on there. So please invest in high quality perm rods. So the back of my hair has some cheaper perm rods, but the front of my hair has a lot better quality perm rods. And I'm also realizing at this moment that my hair did not fully dry overnight, and I'm worried that it's going to mess up the hairstyle. However, I did not give up hope, and my hairstyle turned out alright. So now I have all the curls out, and I'm making this face because my hair was not fully dry, so this was not the best perm rod set that it could have been. But I'm going to separate the curls anyway and see what we can make work. When you're separating your curls, don't pull your curls apart, apart just at any place. As you can see, there's some natural separation. So that's what I'm pulling apart and just separate each curl as many times as you see fit. Um, the more you want, the bigger you want your hair, the more separation you need to do. But the smaller you want your hair, then you can do less separation. So because the back of my hair um, had curls that fully dried. The curls came out much better back there. They're moving a lot better. They're not frizzy. However, the front of my hair was the curls that did not get to dry fully. So those are a little more fluffy or um, a little less defined than the ones in the back. So at this point, half of my hair is separated and you can see it's bigger than the other side. This is not the volume that I usually would wear, but I'm trying to get it under a graduation cap, so I left it as small. So at this point, it's all separated and as you can see, the top is kind of frizzy just because the hair did not dry. So it's very important to make sure that your hair is fully dry before you take your rods out. But we are putting a hat on top, so it's not that big of a deal. So I take a bobby pin and I push the top of my hair down to the, to, I think that's my right side, down to one side just to make room for the cap. So now that I have my cap, I put the front on first and just pull it down over the back of my hair and it fits. So at this point, I'm going to take my pick and pick it out now that I have the cap on. I didn't want to pick it out before and then have the cap not fit on my hair.
So to make sure that the cap stays on my head, I'm gonna bobby each side and the back just to add a little more support to my cap. So this is the final graduation hairstyle look with a hairstyle that does fit under your graduation cap. Now you can do a headband trick, but I really wanted to wear my cap traditional way. So I had to find a hairstyle that would work. Subscribe, like, comment, share, make it do what it do, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.